Old maps are often dismissed as inaccurate because they depict lands that seemingly no longer exist. But surely we are doing the old cartographers a disservice as the accuracy of old maps were extremely crucial for explorers and travelers whose lives depended on their ability to navigate through unfamiliar territories. Therefore, perhaps it is unlikely that cartographers would fabricate lands that did not exist. With this mindset, we are going to look at some interesting old maps. This map was made in 1606 by famous cartographer Gerardus Mercator. There are many interesting things on this map. First of all, we have Greenland with no ice. We see charted mountains and rivers, and even right here we can see some towns. These symbols are how they mark towns on this map. As you can see in Iceland, which is spelt island at the time. Many towns and totally ice free. Even more interesting is this little island here. And you can see how many towns there are. And looking at another map from 1606, we can see the same island here. Here we have Greenland, Iceland. Looking at a modern day map, there is no sign of that island. By all accounts, this island no longer exists. Back to the Gerardus Mercator map. We see Russia here. In these times, Russia was called Rus, and this was shortly after the name was Tartaria. So already we see Tartaria replaced with Rus. But what I would like to focus on is these parts of Asia, which we would now call Siberia. As a reference here, it is on a modern day map. This area here, Upper Siberia, a very remote area of the world. Moscow is over here next to Europe, and most of the towns and cities are in this lower area. So in this region on the old map we see many towns amongst these mountains. Here a big one which appears to be a castle, or maybe even a city. And here we have the name Tartar Wild. In this other map, we see we have just two towns in this area. Much less activity compared to the other map. Now, of course, the main part of this map, the elephant in the room, so to speak, is this North Pole region. This is absolutely amazing. Now, again, this map was created by Gerardus Mercator, the father of the map we all use today. He is a very respected map maker. We certainly cannot assume he was a fool who would make up entire continents of land without substantial evidence of their existence. And here in the center of this North Pole region is Rups Nigra. This has been described as a magnetic black mountain and is seen in many maps from around this time. Even in this map we see it. Also, this island appears to be gone now, which was located in the Oceanus Tartaricus. But without a doubt, this North Pole area seems to be gone on modern maps. So back to this map. Here we see we have a region said to be inhabited by pygmies. And some of these rivers were said to flow inwards, pulling ships into the center with strong currents. Now on this map made 11 years later, a portion of the Pygmy region is missing, and these islands have changed. Skeptics will argue that this was all made up by the cartographers at the time, perhaps not purposely by these map makers, but by poor intel. But surely a landmass such as this North Pole region would need to be corroborated by several different sources. Is it possible that some sort of cataclysm befell this region in the not-so-distant past and either sunk these land masses or buried them in ice? Of course, we can't be sure, but nevertheless, I hope you have found these maps interesting, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.